All right, guys, welcome back. Okay, so let me show you what I've got so far. That is the English muffin plus a slice of ham plus another one. Now we're going for the final final piece, and that is a poached egg. Now, poached eggs can be daunting, but it's really not that hard at all. Right now, I have a water that's nearly at a rolling boil, but I don't need it at a rolling boil. If I keep it at a rolling boil, the egg could literally, would literally explode in the water. So, right now, we're going to lower the temperature to about a two. We're going to put you guys down right over here. Thank you. Oh, you're not going to be able to see this. Hello. Making breakfast. You want some? I'm making one for you and me. Oh, okay, cool. It's about ready to eat. Cool. Just give me a few more minutes and okay. I will plate it all for you. Okay. That was my watch. Thank <laughs> you. Yes, that's a great idea. You missed half an hour of it, though. I Okay. Okay. <laughs> Mom. Hi. Okay, so the water is at a temperature where I want it to be. And the next thing I have to do is season the, the water with a splash of white wine vinegar and some salt. Okay. Now, one thing I didn't show you that I want you to see is that I currently have the, these eggs in ramekins. Now, those are two eggs in ramekins, and all I'm going to do is drop them in to the water. But in order for me to get the water to where I need it to be, I need this whisk back. So I'm just going to rinse off the hollandaise from the, the whisk. Okay, now, the water is where I want it to be. Now, in order for the, to this to become a poached egg, it requires a whirlwind. Um, in the water. So you put your whisk in, and you start whisking it around, bringing the water into a uh, whirlpool kind of motion. If you're not careful, that could happen. Splash up. I'll clean it up. Now, it's at a good speed, so take the whisk out, drop your egg in the center. And now what that's doing is that is the what the egg white is wrapping around the yolk. I'm gonna add this one too. Now that needs to keep going, and once it once the once the eggs start to rise, that's when you know that they're, they're done. So I right now. We're just playing a waiting moment. Okay. Mm. It's hard to see from here. Okay. Okay, so those are some extra egg whites that we do not need. So I'm going to take these out. I'm gonna clean it up, I promise. It needed to be cleaned before you started. So we're good. Very good, thank you. Oh, well. Sorry about that, folks. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay, so, now while I'm waiting for the eggs, why don't we start plating this? Ham on top of the English muffin. Ham on top of the English muffin. Uh, let's turn it up that way. That's better. 
Okay. It's getting there. So, let me see here. Okay. See it? There we are. A little bit more. It needs just a little bit longer. Okie dokie, I think we're about ready. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you guys down right here. I also have here a paper towel because we're going to need that to uh, put the eggs on before we put them on top of this. Okay. Looks like a little marshmallow ball. Now you gotta carefully pat it dry. Now I'm gonna put on a little salt, one, then pepper, and then slide that oh, oh, right on to the ham. Cool. Perfect. Okay, now we'll be doing that again in a few seconds. In fact, right now, switch plates. Okay, egg on top. Yeah, oh well. So, pepper. Okay, now we're ready to go to the final, final component. Let's see here. Okay, hollandaise sauce is good. Uh, I just need to use a spoon. And you want to try to do this all in one motion if you can. Scoop, pour all on the egg. That's one, and two. And there it is. All right, everyone. That is Eggs Benedict. Yeah, I know it doesn't look appetizing, but it's delicious. I've had these before. <laughs> um, I'm not going to actually taste it right now, but try this recipe. Uh, look it up. Find out if you like. If you, you can try it yourself. And I hope you guys have a good time. Bon appétit.